Okay, so we're gonna have a look at this art gallery here. Now, for the art gallery in this game, most of it you buy with your platinum dollars, which you get just by playing the game. Although, some of the artwork is locked by level. It only goes up to level 20 though, but getting up to level 10, 15 kind of unlocks the majority of it. So there's a visual section of the gallery, and then there's a sound section. So the sound section is where you can listen to all the music, the different character voices in English and Japanese, and you can also change the voice for the system narrator and announcer as well. So in the visual section, we have the arcade art, which we saw by doing all the arcade modes. We have arcade endings, we have the story artwork. Then there's like illustration contest art. So some of this art is done by fan artists or artists that have been commissioned as well, which is really cool that they include fans with this kind of stuff. Obviously, it's all Japanese stuff, so I don't really know what the actual process of like sending these in or whatnot. You can see it's like all like professional level artwork though. It's not like the like the amateur level. We also have special CGs for a lot of the characters. They all have all the characters in the Blaze Blue universe have birthdays, so they all have like birthday celebration artwork well, which is kind of cute. Uh, almost all their birthdays are on holidays of some sort. So you can see all these like level locked ones that I don't have, but I'm not going to bother getting. Then we have the movies that played during the story mode. Here's where you buy unlimited versions of characters, extra color palettes, and extra system voices. And then there's more artwork here like promotional artwork and whatnot. So we'll have a scroll through it now. We didn't do all the arcade modes on YouTube. I did them on stream, but I'm not going to post them. But most people's arcade artworks are more or less similar. It's almost always a picture of them uh, encountering Hazuma and then a picture of them encountering Mu-12. Uh, a, few a few characters have unique ones, like for example, Noel herself or Hazuma himself. But for the most part, they all look similar. So I will hide my VTuber model so you can have a better look at some of these. Should I hide the menu too? I think it's kind of nice to have the, the text beneath it though. We'll keep the text for now. We'll keep the text for now. So this plays in all the people's arcade modes. It's just Hazuma talking. There's this one as well. It like pans upwards. Asma showing that Mu-12 is about to be unleashed. Then Mu-12. Asma again. So this is the first picture most characters have. It's like Hazma walking away from them dismissively. And then they get a second picture of them witnessing Mu descending down from from the cauldron. This one's specific to Jin. Another one for Jin, because he's special. So here's Noelle's. Hers is a little bit different too. She's the one who turns into Mu, as we know. Then we have Rachel. Tao. Tager. Lychee. <laughs> Look, Laoji's making a face too. That's kind of cute. Arachne. Bang. Carl. Akumin. Lambda. Tsubaki. This one's Hazma himself. 
Makoto. Falkenhayn. Platinum. Moo. And Moo again. This one appears in most characters' endings. Reliasis is a little bit different. Because um, in his ending, he, he actually kills Hazuma. And then there's like a version of it with Phantom hovering behind him. Yeah, it's neat to kind of see how they place each character in the composition a little differently. It's kind of nice that they don't just look like co like fully just copy and pasted like standing poses. And then this is also from Reliuses, where it shows Ignis finishing Hazma off. And here's the story mode illustrations. So we've seen all these through our playthroughs. So I'm gonna go through these. So this was from the very opening of the game. Rachel talking to Takamakahara, or the chair people, as you might recall. There's Ragna story mode. And if you want to like have a better look at some of this artwork. Like, it's all on the Blaze Blue wiki as well. Every character has, like, an image gallery, and they have, like, their story mode artwork and arcade art mode. And then here's from Jin's story. <laughs> His gag ending. Most of the gag endings have an artwork, but not all of them. Noel. Noel's is also a longer story mode this time around compared to the other characters. There's a picture of the Black Beast. And her, her gag ending. We have Rachel's. And her gag ending. Tao and Tao's gag ending it's from Tager Tager's gag ending From Lychees. This is her joining Hazma at the end, which we saw in the true ending. And her joke ending. Arachne. And then his joke ending. If bang. And this is from his joke ending. It's from Carl's joke ending. Interesting, they show Carl's joke ending one first. Now it's Hakuman's turn. Now Lambda. Aw, oh, Tardis on. It's 
Tabaki. Here's her joke ending. from Hazmas. And <laughs> his joke ending. And then these illustrations are from the Calamity Trigger reconstruction. So they're from the recap of the first game. Now, some of these illustrations are taken directly from the first game, and some of them are new. So here we have Rachel... The, the three Academy girls, reminiscing about their times. Ragna meeting the Kaka kittens for the first time. We have a flashback of Noelle, I believe, thinking back on Ragna when they were kids. This is Jin, when he cut off Ragna's arm as a kid. And you can see there's Teremi behind him, kind of coercing him into using Yukianasa. Ragna encounters Hakumin. Noel encounters Nu for the first time. Azuma reveals himself as Terumi. The moon. Ragna versus Nu. Nu stabs Ragna. They start to fall into the cauldron. Jin reaching out for him. More of Ragna falling in the cauldron with Nu. This is the Creation of Hakumen, when an alternate Jin gets a deal from Rachel. Black Beast. Six heroes. Jin encounters Bang. The Wanted poster. Ragna runs from the restaurant after not paying his bill, the Tao. Ragna versus Jin. Flashback of Saya and Ragna. And there's Saya again. Noel saves Ragna from falling into the cauldron. And the aftermath. And then Rachel summons Tsukuyomi and protects Kagutsuchi from Takama Takamikazuchi. And then Hazuma calls Tsubaki to his office. Now we have the DLC character story mode, so here's Makoto. Valkenhayn. Valkenhayn's joke ending. Platinum. I love the derpy <laughs> subordinate here. Then Relius. True ending.
More true ending. Here, Teremi infiltrates Takamakahara. And then now we have all the chairs without the people, without the observers sitting in them. This is from the Military Academy bonus story. Then from the Sector 7 bonus story. Now we get to the, the special illustrations. It's kind of cute, you can see there's like author comments at the bottom. Most of them talk a little bit about like how they like the character and why they chose to draw them and why things they included. It's really quite cute, but I won't be reading all these, but if you want to pause the video or look it up yourself. I like how there's George 13th there in this one. Gi with the fan. That's so cute. Look at look at uh, Tager and Kokonoe. I'll let the text finish scrolling for each one. This one's a cool one. Ragna versus Terami. Some Kokonoe art. A lot of nice stuff in the background there, too. This one is a pretty short comment, but... Pretty cool. Oh, you can see all of uh, Teremi's little snake dudes in this one. What I was talking about earlier. This is a nice style. I really like group compositions. Our DLC characters. Oh, the, this this illustrator is from America, it seems, from the comment. Oh, this is a cute one. Looks like they're singing Bang's theme song as well. More Rachel, of course. Rachel's great. It's nice that they let the artists have, like, comments. Yeah, why can't we get Nago and Gi stuffed animals? That'd be cute. I actually have, like, a little, like, Rachel plush. I got it from winning a contest from the Arc System Works. Or was it from Axis? I can't remember. It was one of the two that they hosted on Twitter. But you can, you can buy it. It's not like I got a special <laughs> custom plush. I don't want to imply that. It's just free merch. Ooh, this one's cool. I also have a Ragnar Nendo, because I really liked how it looked, so I bought it.
or sleeping Rachel. I like how when Rachel, if you like knock her down in battle, she just looks like she's sleeping. Like she's really not taking the battle seriously. Because they're supposed to show how powerful she is. I'm glad the fans and artists here have such a love of the series. Oh yeah, if you hold down down for long enough, then Rachel will also fall asleep. Like, she crouches into, like, a sitting position on top of Nago, and then she falls asleep if you leave it too long. Whoa, this one's cool. A lot of details. He's like a transformer. Another nice group composition. You know, when, if, when Continuum Shift first came out, I was kind of disappointed. It only had Tsubaki and Hazma's new characters. And then Mu is like the secret boss character. But then with all the DLC and Extend added, it's a pretty nice round roster now. This one's an interesting style. So Moo and Nu. Oh, this is kind of horrifying, but also cute. Arachne and all those bugs that appear on his stage and in his attacks. Again, it's it's cute that like he has such a simple design, he's just a blob with a mask, but they do so much with him. More lovely Rachel. Azuma. Looking very dapper. Oh, this is one of the ones we got from the Tao teaching Miss Lychee. <laughs> Moo's outfit still very... Gosh. This angle, man. This angle. It is very nice art, though. But Moo, come on, put on some real pants, man. This is just... <laughs> Dang, Tager. Oh yeah, these ones, we've gotten past the illustration contest ones, which is why these don't have long artist comments either. I mean, some of them have slightly longer ones, but... Well, this one... It's Tsubaki after she does her astral finish. Her outfit changes for like a couple seconds. Some more Ragna. Very cool. Oh, and a matching Jin. Very cool, very good, very dynamic. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, it's a repeating picture. Would you like boiled egg for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, perhaps? This is the Ragnar that's like wrapped up in Ouroboros. Yeah, it's kind of Persona style. Like Persona Q. Oh, this is the other one we got from Tichi Miss Lychee. Oh my. Very straightforward comment. Oh, and loud you. <laughs> I 
Oh my! I guess we'll just ignore that they misspelled Christmas. That's fine. Oh, this one's cute. I really like 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 the clean line art and the minimalistic coloring. Sometimes looks really good. Oh, this is her. This is for Rachel's birthday. I think Rachel's birthday is Halloween. Tao's birthday. Like pretty much all the characters' birthdays are holidays. Like I think like Jin's is Valentine's Day. Also, I think Relius's is like Children's Day, which is awful. <laughs> Ooh, this one looks cool. Aw. Rockin' and new. Happier times. Oh, Carl's birthday? Oh, Lao Chu with his little... I like how they use characters like Laoju and Gi and Nago and the, the little characters and the details. Oh, Lychee's birthday. The bang in the background. Tao. Oh, Lychee. This was the other one we got from uh, teaching Miss Lychee. Oh, look at Laoju. This Mahjong tile is looking really good, too. Very cool. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a like a female arachne. <laughs> well, a magazine style. Oh, there's Jin. Valentine's Day. Hey, Tsuki! Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Oh, well, this one was used in a gamer magazine. Or, it's like... Have a magazine-like touch, that's cool. Yeah, they're holding the legendary PS Vita. Ooh, this one's pretty cool too. They drew it to look kind of like a story illustration. That's really cool. <laughs> Poor Ragna. Very nice, handsome Hazma. This is booby lady. Arachne. Again, it's so neat to see the unique things they do for, for Arachne. <gasps> Tartarzan!
<laughs> He's being censored by an arachne mask. Oh, Tager. Gets this lambda in the back. Oh, yeah, Bang's birthday's on New Year's. Rachel. We get a close up. An expression variation. Oh, more Carl. Oh. All the characters in this game have such good interactions with each other. And a good variety, too. Pokonoi looking pretty cool. <laughs> Aw. Just New and Tao hanging out. Lao Chu and his blank expression. Oh, oh my, oh, that's why Lao Chu's there. Oh my, oh my. Oh, this is pretty cool. Again, love group compositions and I love fighting. Poses, so I like how casual some of the artist comments are sometimes. Like some of them are a little bit more professional, and some of them are just like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna talk about why I made this." This person even says, "I'll just go dig a hole right now." <laughs> you could tell they're like a labor of love. Oh yeah, this is from Lazy Blue. Lazy Blue was like a chibi. Blaze Blue game. I think it was on like the DS eShop. I don't really know how it played, but it was like cheapy versions of not all the characters, and you could like do stuff with them. Oh, more Blazy Blue. Yeah, rest in peace, eShop. It might have been Japanese only too. Blazy Blue is a, it's a cute. Name though. Oh, <laughs> this one's really cute. Porgy. Oh, and thanks for the stretch, Kieran. You can't see me, but I'm stretching. Make sure you're stretching too at home. Sit up straight in your seat. Oh, look at Tao. Look at her little feet. Very straightforward artist comment. Oh, look at the, the rabbits in the moon. More Rachel. Is that Ragna down there? More Halloween. Noelle's birthday. Oh, this is a nice one. The Subaki relaxing. Nice background, too. 
What's my favorite holiday? Well, I don't really, like... I mean, thematically, I do like Halloween, but it's not like we get time off work or anything to celebrate it. Christmas is nice mostly just because you get time off, usually. I don't really celebrate, like, excessively any specific holidays, though. Thematically, I do like Halloween, but I don't really do that much special for Halloween. Oh, my. I like how Guy is hidden behind a dress, and when you see him, it's almost like he's, like, looking at you with a bit of a smirk, like, I see what you're looking at. This one's nice. I like how so many of the people drawing have to comment on Noelle's chest. Or how they, like, enhanced it for the to suit their own tastes. Like, fair play to you, but did you have to point it out? This is pretty cool. Ooh. Look at that perspective. Hager's huge. I do like the composition of this one. Oh, the caca kittens. Lifting towel shirt. I do like how a lot of the, the Blaze Blue characters are, like, not to say simplistic in design, but it's not like they have over amounts of, like, decorative markings on their clothes. Probably, I mean, obviously it's because it's a sprite game, so you don't want to have to draw a million sprites of a character that has, like, really intricate small details on their shirts and stuff. So a lot of their shirts don't really have, like, super detailed patterns, but yet they're, like, the shapes of their designs and everything are usually distinct enough to really make them stand out and unique despite, without having to rely on a lot of that. It's kind of what I like in character design, where it's, like, interesting silhouette, interesting outfit composition that is a little unique, with a color palette, doesn't need too much extra tiny little details just to make it stand out. Like, even with Tsubaki's, I find her outfit still a little weird, but it is very unique and memorable. More Noelle. Oops, some, some Moo. Dang. I didn't realize there were a lot of Moo fans, actually. Hey, Mevox! Welcome to the stream! Thanks so much for stopping by. We're having a look at the art gallery. <laughs> it's a Valkenheim. <laughs> Whoa. Fan servicey. Ooh, that is a cool Valkenheim. He's like half transforming. I really admire people who do these like detailed painterly style types of things. It's definitely not the way my mind works when I when I do art. I very much have to do like you know, base sketch, clean line art, coloring, base colors, shading. Not good at the painterly stuff. I want to get better at it. <laughs> Successfully dine and dashing. Why is the comment here about licking platinum? That's weird. I'm just going to pretend I didn't read that.
Ooh, this one's cool. That is really cool. It'd make like a really nice like desktop wallpaper. Or Moo. Oh, a Terami in the background. <laughs> Almost didn't even see him. Oh, this is a cool this is a cool one too. Look at that dynamic pose. Or Platinum and Jupe. I like how a lot of people draw the NPCs. Like they're including like Jubei and Kokodoe and Linhua. It just goes to show you that even the characters that aren't playable yet in the series are still well and beloved. That was a pretty good, cool shot of Relius. Platinum. Like, it really feels like a cat. Like, Blaze Food really feels like a cast where it's like, there's something for everyone. Everyone will find one character that they will like, whether it be through gameplay or personality or design. Because they're just so varied. A lot of platinum. I like her giant Jubei plush, though. The one she brings out in her victory pose sometimes. That was cool. Or Tsubaki in her angel form. Ooh, this one's cool. Again, it's so cool to see what people do with Arachne. But his birthday is April Fools, that's cute. All Carl with his little little automata and his tiny little Ada. <laughs> Love his little snakes, all oh, they're munching on the cake. And then evil version. The ox has Arachne's mask. Oh, this is for Valkenheim's birthday. Aw, that's cute. Is there going to be a new Blaze Blue game? Well, like, this is only the second game in the series, so there's two games that come after this, and then there's Cross Tag Battle. But at the moment, there aren't really plans for a new Blaze Blue game. There is a Blaze Blue Gacha game, of course, Japanese only. I'm not sure if it's discontinued yet, though. But they, I mean, at the end of the fourth game, they kind of say, like, in an interview, it's the conclusion of, like, the Ragna the Blood Edge kind of arc. Like, there's still, like, extra stuff in the Blaze Blue universe, but. It's like the four main games cover the extent of the main story. I like how she has a, a George the 13th headband here. That's cute. What a beefy arm. Oh, oh it's animated. That's cute. Oh, this is for, for Jubei's birthday.
and zoom in on that cake. <laughs> Look how Tagger's like buried in the cake. For new, bang. Oh, a naked version. Wait, Noel's birthday is on December 25th, but Moo's birthday is on January 7th? I mean, maybe Noel's birthday was just given to her by her adoptive parents, and her real birthday is January 7th? <laughs> That's kind of cute. Their cake is the, is the top of Kagutsuchi, with the cauldron thing on top. The monolith. <laughs> More of Ouroboros. Dynamic pose. Look at foreshortening on her arm. Like how Noelle's like bazooka thing has like a face. Ooh, this is a cool shot of Carl. It is breaking her back over here though. <laughs> oh, Makota? Why'd I say Makota? Makoto. Makota. Oh. The difference between these two versions is there's a little dude in the background getting knocked into space. Maybe it's Terami or something. Platinum. Ooh, another cool one of Valkenhayn. Dang. People who could draw, like, animals really well, too. That wolf head in the background. I like this art style. More platinum. Did you well, there's a lot of platinum fans. I thought her personality would turn a lot of people away, but I guess some people like that. Ooh, another cool one. A young Ragna in the back. The detailing on his arm there. And you got Hazuma in the background. Another cool one of Valkenhayn. Dang! Also, people that can draw, like, older people and, like, wrinkles without making it look, like, bad. Major props. Also, facial hair. I really suck at drawing facial hair. Yeah, catch you later, Ash. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Good luck with all your studying. <laughs> There's all the cats power piled up on top of Asma. Oh, Tao's biting his leg. Ooh, this one's also really cool.
so much cool art here. Like, it's not just the fan service ones, like the action-y ones and the cool compositions. Oh, dang, look at that Hakuman. Looks like a monster. Tsubaki. Oh, Lambda. Pretty cool picture of her. I didn't realize until we did the true ending today, like how sudden Lambda appears and disappears in the true ending. I thought I remember there being a little bit more build up to her entering the scene, but maybe that's just from the anime. She just kind of comes out of nowhere and then. <laughs> oh, this one's cool too. Another nice arachne piece. Oh, Ragna. I guess after he's fused with the idea engine because he's got news eye patch and his eyes glowing and his hand is unraveling. Oh, okay. So now we're on the additional content section where you could buy unlimited versions of the characters. We only bought unlimited Lambda so we can get new. So this section has a lot of stuff that's locked off, which is unfortunate because it's the art sprite section, which is super cool to see. I actually have the art book for the first two Blaze Blue games, and they have like a lot of this artwork where it shows like the different actions for their sprites and how they like mapped it out and how they intended to draw them. I love seeing artwork like that. It's super cool. Oh wait, is there more? Like just seeing the progression of like how they're supposed to move. You can see like a bullet dislodging from his sword here. And like even like button command inputs and stuff. It's super cool. I kind of I kind of wish I could go I spend the time and unlock this for all the characters, but I don't want to get up to rank 20. It's gonna take forever. Or not forever, but a lot longer than I would like. So this is Jin. The way his cape like flaps behind him, super cool. I really, really admire people that can draw a lot of stuff like this. Even, like, sometimes I find artists on Twitter or Pixiv with, like, art of their character, and they do, like, mock sprite sheets of them, like this, just to show how they move and stuff. Even without, like, a fully completed animated sprite, you can kind of get a really good idea of how a character moves and their personality and the way they fight. There's Noelle. It's funny too, because if you look at the art book version, like some attacks need an opponent for it to make sense. So sometimes they draw like a punching bag with Ragnar's silhouette. Like it's it's almost like his head, like his hair shape mounted on top of a punching bag. Or striking like a Mr. Sandbag from Smash Bros. kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. I wish I could unlock this for all the characters. But I will not spend the time. Score attack special illustration. Oh, this is a cover for one of the novels, Blaze Blue Phase Zero. This is Ragnar with one of the characters called Celica, who we'll meet later. This is the cover for the official comic. Why does it have to be so... <laughs> the back cover. This looks very... Guilty Gear style. More covers of the comic. Like it's also really cool, like a lot of the characters, even if their design 
isn't like super complicated, but then they have a lot of cool like battle effects that you associate with them, like Hazama's Ouroboros or his snakes or Ragna's Dead Spike San or like Jin's Ice. You could have a lot of really cool thematic pieces in the artwork with them. Oh, this is the arcade poster for the the release of the, the DLC characters and Mu. The pose they put on Makoto though. Boobs and butt pose. Roger looks really cool though. Look at all those details on Valkenheim's wrinkles. There's another arcade poster. I love all the group compositions they use and all the posters and the covers. Oh, this is the box art for Continue Shift Extend. I couldn't find a large... I was talking about this on the other stream, but I couldn't find like a nice high-res version of this online to use for my thumbnails. Maybe I'll just take it from the game now that I know it's here. I could only find like low res versions of it or versions of it that had like the logo plastered across the middle of it. And then this is the the characters individually separated from that artwork. Oh, Blaze Blue Continuum Shift 2 mobile version package illustration. There, oh yeah, this was for the... Continuum Shift 2 came out on the DS. Or the 3DS? As well as the... Vita? For the magazine, here's Ragna with Celica again. There's Jubei and Nine in the background. Again, a lot of the prequel novels go over the Black Beast War era a lot better. Oh, an outfit swap? That's kind of cute. <laughs> Poor Noelle looking at her in Makoto's outfit. Oh, this is from the, the novel again. There's Celica. There's another cat, Beastkin. There's Teremi in the back left in his original appearance with his orange cloak and he's shirtless underneath. And then on the far right we have I mean, I'll talk about this later, probably when we do Chrono Phantasma, but his name's Kazuma, and he's like an artificial human created by Relius for the purpose of housing Terami's soul, and together they become Hazuma. Platinum. Oh, this is the cover for Day Shift 1, which is the novel I was just talking about. Kazuma, Terami, Celica. A strategy guide cover. Very cool art style. That's so cool. I love Blaze Blue art so much. This one's from the guide. Oh my, Rachel. Special telephone card series? Oh, he's eating a burger. And there's the wanted posters in the back. Jin looking uncharacteristically meek.
Man, this telephone game had a lot of very fan y art. Oh, and we're back at the beginning. So yeah, we're just missing a few from level 16 through 20. And there we have it! Almost everything there is to experience in Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. And of course there's other modes we haven't tried, like Score Attack, Unlimited Mars mode, there's Challenge mode, there's the Abyss mode. There's the tutorial mode actually has like Rachel and other characters walking you through the controls of the game. It's kind of neat. But for the sake of our playthrough here on YouTube, I think this should cover everything. So like I said, we will do Chrono Phantasma, the third game in the series in the future. But it will be a while off. I think I need a break from Blaze Blue and playing other games in the meantime. But it will come in the future because I do like Blaze Blue and I want to continue sharing it with you guys. So this, yeah, this is the last Blaze Blue stream for this game, Continuum Shift Extend. So the next time we see Blaze Blue will be Chrono Phantasma, and then after that, Central Fiction. Hey Valkyria, welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping by, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have been enjoying Blaze Blue as well. Hope you learned a little bit more about the series, or maybe found a character you liked, or come to appreciate it a little bit more, find out a little bit more about it. Oh, you're watching my uh, 13 Sentinels playthrough right now? You have to slow it down because so much happens in a small amount of time. That was such an interesting series. I, I really love the plot of that one, and it's also one of the games, one of the few games on the channel where it had a really good plot, and I experienced it for the first time live on stream. Because most of these other games I've played that have really good stories are games that I've already experienced before, so I'm not having like a, a genuine live reaction on stream. I want to find more games like that, like 13 Sentinels, that I haven't played and have really interesting storylines that I can react to and theory craft live. Like, it's fascinating. I'm hoping that Project Rain Code does that for me at the end of June, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, thank you everyone for coming to the stream. I know, again, Blaze Through streams are not for everyone. That's a lot of sitting back and reading or listening to characters talk. Especially that Teaching Miss Lychee section was fun, but it wasn't like funny enough, and also the characters did a lot of talking, so, but it was good. I'm, I'm glad people still enjoyed it, and thank you for sticking around regardless. I'm very grateful for that. You guys are always awesome to hang around with. Oh yeah, I also wanted to say in the gallery mode, um, some of the, some of the art we're missing, aside from the sprite sheets for the characters, is according to this website, apparently there's 3D models of new Hazuma, Subaki, Valkenheim, Makoto, Platinum, and Relius that you can buy at level 18 in the gallery. And I don't think I've ever seen those. Because why would there be 3D models? I don't even know, is it a 3D model I could rotate around? Or is it just a still picture of like a concept art 3D model? I don't really know. Or is it like, maybe it's concept, maybe it's just concept rotational art from the anime. But yeah, that's interesting. I just want to note that because I was looking up what some of the artwork was for the ones that we were unable to unlock besides like the motion storyboards and that's something that came up in my search but of course if you are interested in blaze blue i mean check it out for yourself i mean buy the games on steam they often have bundles where you get them together try playing as some of your favorite characters uh it is a lot of fun it is a lot of fun don't just take my word for it so it looks like my friend melly is streaming she's celebrating her one year anniversary of being an affiliate and doing a karaoke stream so we're going to raid her, so stick around, show your support for Melly. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. I've yet to decide which game I will be playing next coming up this week, but we will figure that out. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening or day, depending where you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.